so a lot of people don't know that the prices of lands in different states in Nigeria vary greatly and even when you come to within states the prices of land in different locations within states vary greatly like they are very different so for example I'm going to give you first of the five most expensive cities to invest in real estate when it comes in Nigeria right so there's Lagos the most expensive cities to invest in real estate in Nigeria then there's Abuja then there's Enugu states actually then there's um, I think it's Ogun State, yeah, before Port Harcourt. For instance, in Inugu State, so um, I hear people say, oh, okay, in so and so state, you can get a buy and build property for 4 million naira. But in Inugu State, that's not the case, right? In Inugu State, properties are quite expensive. And I'm going to give you a couple of reasons. One of them is that Inugu State is actually known to be the most livable city in the Southeast. I mean, ask around. So this alone just makes properties appreciate faster down here in the southeast especially and that's why Enugu state is very expensive when it comes to real estate investing what's the advantage the advantage is that if you if you buy a property here in Enugu state you're sure that it's going to appreciate um, much faster than its counterparts for instance say you buy a property of four million naira in Enugu state today 2024 and then you buy another property of say two million naira in another state um ebony states just an example right the rate at which the one you, you buy in Enugu will appreciate is usually going to be faster than the rate at which the one you bought in ebony states will appreciate it's just that's how, that's just how it is aside the fact that Enugu state is the most livable city in the southeast it's also one of the most developed in the southeast right so these are some of the reasons okay Enugu state also houses the most number of tertiary institutions in the southeast yeah so these are some of the reasons Enugu State properties are really pricey. And but like I said, it's not a, a cause for concern. What it means is that you're sure that your properties are going to keep on appreciating, right? In, especially when you want to buy investment properties. So of course you know that you're either buying buy and build. Buy and build as well. You can start you can you can start building right away in the next couple of years. Or you're buying an investment property where you just want to um, get your money back with profit. So I mean, however that is, you just know that if once in Enugu, you're certain that you're going to get, you know, return on your investment. Of course, granted that you buy a verified property, right? Property that is that doesn't have any encumbrance on it, or any government, um, um, any government interests, you know. Yeah. So I just, you know, thought to make this video just to give um, you people, you know, my viewers, an idea you know into the disparity or the differences in price in different states in nigeria um especially with regards to Enugu states you know because i hear a lot of people you know um complain oh this place in centenary city uh, uh, why 15 million naira? why you know but that's just how it is right that's just how it is and it doesn't so and it doesn't take time they appreciate so fast so for example i took one of my clients to a property at okay actually a, a client representative it's a property at um centenary behind centenary city now so during our conversation i let them know that just a couple of years back the main centenary city had properties that were selling for as low as eight million naira, seven million naira. today today those properties are worth 30 million naira. 35 40 40 million naira, and people are already living there right so that that's enugu for you especially once there's um government interest or the interest of private stakeholders or you know once there's interest they're like so of course when you're buying property you have to check okay what development is coming to that place or what what development is going on around that place do you understand are people moving towards that area yeah so that's what happens that's one of the things that make that makes um, properties appreciate that fast and that's what happened with centenary city and of of course behind centenary city now that's the same thing that is already happening right behind just behind centenary city um, which of course you have access to through centenary city gates in the noble states there is um there are properties that you get for you know nine million naira, 10 million naira, 15 million naira, you know around that range and they're still that they're still that affordable because People are still moving towards that area and are moving towards that area. By in the next couple of years, you won't get it for this amount anymore. Like it's like depending on the level of development, it could actually double, just like made, um, the main centenary city. So these are the factors that appreciate the that affect the prices of 
um, properties in Enugu State, right? So, um, just so you know, um, maybe in, in another video, I'm going to discuss um, different locations in Enugu State and the the price points in those locations. Okay, like if you're buying in Independence Lelt, what's the price range? If you're buying in um, in Centenary City, what's the price range? If, if, if you're buying in, in, in Amoko Nike or Ugogo Nike, what's the price range? That kind of thing. If you want me to do that video, just let me know in the comments, right? Okay, my name is Bamara. It's in OB. I'm a realtor based in Ingo State, Nigeria. And, um, you know, we have properties across, you know, um, across um, the city. We have properties in Centenary City, Night Mile. We have um, at Ugogo Nike, Obeke Nike, or just different places. So, I mean, just give me a call on 0916059756 and I'll um, attend to you. I'll answer, your, I'll answer your questions and, you know, we can book an inspection if you want to buy property right away. Um, and I'm here for you, right? Bye for now.